Uh, so glad you're here joining me today. I'm going to be heading out on a rock hounding adventure. So I have my rock hounding shirt on. It says rock and raccoon, rock and crystal market. Love it. Love my raccoons. It's perfect. Anyways, um, I've lost 90 pounds since last June. So I feel like I could get on camera even though I still got lots of chub. But today we are heading out to Jeannie Stott's. Uh, awesome mine up in Hannah, Utah. She actually has recently gotten uh, quite a award from the state. Her stone is honeycomb calcite. That's what they mine up there. And it's now Utah's state stone. Pretty cool, right? So this is an example. It is very beautiful. It fades from a white clear color into this very deep dark orange and what's great about it is you can shape it very easily even using woodworking rasps and files. Uh, you just have to sand it down nice and then it's an easy uh, acid polish after that. So I'm so excited. Uh, this will be my longest trip so far. I think it is about two and a half hours there. So I gotta keep that in mind with my back injury. So I am bringing my cane just in case I need it. Hopefully I don't. Um, and then they're gonna load it into the truck. 560 pounds is way more than I can handle. And then I'll have my kid or my husband unload it out of the truck and move it around to the back. So very exciting day. Something I've been looking forward to for a long time. So I will uh, take you on an adventure. All right, guys, so this road trip is two and a half hours, so I'm getting a lot of gas, and I drive a big truck, so eh, takes a lot, especially with gas prices just going up and up. It's nuts. So I'm at the Maverick. This is a Utah store. Uh, I don't know how far outside of Utah it goes, but this is like the gas station. Anyway, so I'm going to go in, get some snacks, get some drinks, and then we'll be on our way. Check this out. I am driving up a mountain pass right now, but the temperature just got really cold. Look at all the snow I'm driving through. This is the very beginning of the season. This road's been open about a week. They lock it with a gate and don't maintain it during the winter time. That's a very pretty drive, I'll tell you that much. Shamrock Mining. We've been here since uh, 07. The mine's been here since 95. And this is my beautiful wife, Jeannie. And we're here to show you how we do some production. And let's go take a look. For production, <clears throat> this is one of our faster saws, and we'll take a look at. See how fast we can cut.
We can throw them in the acid. Time to go for an acid trip. <laughs> so we put put our rock, any kind of rock, in there. A few different. This. Muriatic acid. And then we put it in the bucket and watch it bubble. And of course, you got to wear your fancy protection. Be safe. And just after a few short minutes, a little bit longer than this, the dog wants something to drink. Just that fast. And start carving into the white face of the stone. Drill a hole in it for a light. And you can carve almost anything into it. Dinosaur tracks. To bear paws. Crosses. What's the most hardness? It's a 3.5? So, yeah, between a 3 and a 2 probably. The white being like a 2. So oh. the white is really easy to grind off. But the, the really solid um, amber color is probably a three so it's a little bit harder so somewhere in between those so very easy to do with the dremel that's awesome right and then yeah and you can well, it's like working with butter yeah, yeah that's what i like to say drill bits right down to a little buffing wheel if you want to polish oh. so. it's a nice stone it is a nice stone it's, it's an amazing it's, it's stone it's carved. gorgeous I like doing the big, big carving, but anyway, here's like a headstone, a small one. It's a little morbid, but yeah, it's a nice way to remember somebody. <laughs> well, around here, they it just fits the area. Yeah. Oh, I did. I drove by a whole bunch of cemeteries, and they all have like natural stone headstones which I really right. found very interesting. So what are what are those? Well these are like little cylinders for putting candles into um, wine chillers. Wine Ooh. chillers. Yeah. So you can just put it in the freezer, stick your wine in there and it's right. chilled. Perfect. Yeah and it stays I need colder one. than most stone. Mm. A lot longer, anyway. 
Well, that's what happens if you put it in the acid too long. It just eats it away. That's like overnight or over the weekend or something. Good advice. Don't forget you put it in acid. <laughs> <laughs> It'll disappear after a while. Unless you like that effect. Oh, that's so pretty. Pretty easy to sand, pretty quick. It's about like a 50 grit. It's, uh, it's 100 percent basically calcium carbonate smoke silica. Still don't want to get a lot of dust in your lungs, but it, it's like tums. But basically. Once you get off the sand marks, see that side compared to that side? Once you get that off, you can throw it in the acid. So it's very... So you round your corners where you want them. I'm ready to throw that in the acid. That fast. Wow, that was fast. Awesome. Yeah. And once you throw it in the acid, you're done. There you go. Yeah. Sometimes we have really big rock. And when we do, it's a lot of money. <laughs> <laughs> you slab those. That's our last piece of a great big rock. So it's about $6,000. Yeah, it's worth a lot of money. Wow. That's huge. Yeah. It's just really it's so hard gorgeous. To stabilize that big of a piece without it falling apart and it's calcite. So yeah, this, these are pictures of up at the quarry, the different saws and stuff that we use to cut it. Um, this is a wire saw up here. This is where we drill down a six inch hole and then we drill over three and drill over three, hook a wire with diamonds on it through that hole and then wrap it around this wheel and just pull it through the mountain. Here's a big chainsaw. That big chainsaw is used for cutting big blocks like this one here. If we could just keep cutting big blocks, we'd wow, be doing that's great. Wow, who is that standing next to that stone? Just One of those that's, secretaries. Oh, nice. That really shows the size of that. Yeah. Holy cow. And then here's this off that big slab that was in the shop. That's a sign we made for Ballard City, just outside of Roosevelt. Okay. So the different time periods. So this is limestone. So way back in the history of Utah, when it was a low-lying ocean, right here, 500 to 570 million years ago, is where the sea life all, and here's a picture, here's a piece of the seashell, I don't know if you can see that. Right oh here. yeah, we got that. So that's basically all got compressed and turned into the solid limestone and then over all these different time periods it was compressed and turned in the sea life got turned into solid limestone so you can see throughout the history of utah it was up and down and up and down so that limestone cracked and turned into caves and filled back in the caves filled back in with this pure limestone basically which is what they call calcite and that had to have been done under heat and pressure over millions of years and you know it could have been a shorter time period but here's a more modern calcite that was done without heat and pressure so it's pretty fibrous so that's a really modern calcite that's what most calcites look like that's a more that's what ours looks like. 
and then you know you get the variant patterns and the white white that's on it is more like um, a hard water deposit on your sink so it's filled in the cracks with just more of a hard water and that's why it's so difficult to get great big blocks because it's cracked and over you know gone from below sea level to above sea level so that's the that's where the stone started back when it was just sea life coral reefs and seashells and so that one is there so you can see right between where the cave was and the honeycomb calcite which is now the state stone Office. Okay guys, so we are in Jeannie's showroom office and she's going to show us a little bit about what we got here. Well, this is some of our goods that we sell. We try to do most of them in the winter when it's downtime. But now that it's the Utah State Stone, we kind of got wiped out, which is all good. So we've been kind of busy again, which is good. Um, we've been selling a lot of these lovely wall rocks. Rick makes them. They're beautiful. They are beautiful. Oops. Need to tighten the light bulb. These are meditation stones. I like to call them that instead of worry stones. We've had enough worrying lately. They've got a little groove in them. Carry them with you. We've been making our Utahs. We're trying to perfect them. And I think we're gonna carve in them the new Utah State Stone. And I think we're gonna make them a little bit smaller than this and fatter. But people seem to like those now. I like them. And these are a, a really neat hot item. This is how we start making our spheres. They seem to turn out a little bit better when we're doing these. So gemmy. Yes. Do you do your spheres in-house? We did, but we haven't had time, so I've got one of my friends that we gave our sphere machine to, and he's been making them for us. Oh, that's awesome. And I need him to get on it. He needs to make me some more. We're running out. Did you hear that? Get on it. Yes, Brad Bartell. <laughs> oh, Brad. <laughs> You're in trouble now. <laughs> now your name's been put out there. Get going. <laughs> I love it when we have friends in common. <laughs> <laughs> but it's a really fun stone to carve in. And there's like fish. Oh, well, that's unique. Yeah. And you got your acid wash stone here. Anywhere from big pieces to some smaller pieces. To your fetishes. You can buy these. Your little bears. And your buffaloes. And then I made chip necklaces out of honeycomb calcite. And here's a bunch of um, I call them gold nugget necklaces. Oh, that's really pretty. 
Do you do the wire wrapping yourself? Yeah. I love it. the lights burned out. That's a big fish. That's really pretty. Yeah. It's the last of its kind. The artist is no longer making them and he, he told me that there is no more out there on the market and I have the last one. Nice. So he's our mascot. What a good mascot. I love yeah. it. And I make all the cabochons with my Easy Cab from Vince. <laughs> That's awesome. And it polishes up beautifully. It really does. It takes really nice high polish. Yep. And that Easy Cab makes it so easy to do it. Our Shamrock stores all their rocks. About seven million pounds of stone here, and so if you look right over the top of those big hay bales over there, the mine is over that tallest peak, and that snowy ridge way over to the side, it's on that ridge, but over that peak, and this is where we stockpile all of our stone. So there's lab. Shipping crate. <laughs> and don't and forget the pit down beautiful. below. Yeah, we'll show the pit down below if we can. Yeah, let's walk over and this is our stockpile of rock. I think we have enough to last us a few days. <laughs> Thanks for coming out to Shamrock Mining in this short little tour. In Hannah, Utah. We'd love to see you. You can reach us on Facebook at Shamrock Mining, or you can go to our website, which is shamrockonyxmining.com. We'd love to see you. What a wonderful visit that was with Jeannie and her husband Rick and I'm really excited. I'm going to be heading home and editing this video and uh, this was part one of a two-part episode. Uh, the next part uh, I will show you what I bought and uh, we'll do some carving and polishing. So thank you guys for watching. Have an awesome day and keep on rocking. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and join my subscriber only group that I have on uh, Facebook called Dremel Lapidary by Cheerston Safford Art. We kind of talk a little bit about DIY and, and how to carve things with a Dremel, which this honeycomb calcite Utah State Stone is one of the best stones for working with a Dremel just because it is so easy to get a nice high polish with. All right, I'm gonna drive, heading into the mountains, and I got a lot of weight in the truck, so I will see you on the next round. Stay tuned for episode two.